Hey everybody, it's AJ here, and in today's video, we're gonna see if Windows 11 brings with it any performance benefits over Windows 10. My Surface Book 3 here has just been upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but before I did the upgrade, I ran a few benchmarks to see what the final version of Windows 10 would pull just before Windows 11 was released. So we're gonna run the exact same benchmarking tests on the exact same hardware to see if the operating system change increases, decreases, or if the scores remain the same. The one thing I do wanna caveat though is Windows 10 is about five years old, and over that time, Microsoft has made a bunch of updates that really has optimized Windows 10. With Windows 11, this is the first version that's come out, so whatever numbers are pulled today, I'm sure that in the coming months and years, it is actually getting a better and better experience. With that being said though, Windows 11 has been extremely quick and snappy and really it's been a great joy to use on the Surface Book. So the results are in and they may shock you. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this sort of performance from Windows 11. If you were, let me know in the comment section down below. So let's start with what was good. In the Crystal Disk Mark where we tested the speed of the SSD, the Surface Book 3 actually performed better in five out of the eight tests when it came to read and write speeds. There were no huge differences, but overall it performed slightly better than what it did with Windows 10. When it comes to the GPU test in Geekbench 5, the Surface Book 3, he has a dedicated graphics card in the base, which was already pulling awesome numbers in Windows 10 with 68,000 in the Geekbench 5 score. With Windows 11, it scored slightly better by a point or two at 69,000. So a slight increase there, um, but this could be due to environmental factors. And of course you have that margin of error when it comes to gaining or losing a percent or two. But where things really take a turn for the worse with Windows 11 right now 
is in the CPU performance. Um, this wasn't a thing that missed by a point or two up or down. Um, in Geekbench 5, we saw an almost 20% drop in the multi-core performance of the i7 inside of here. Um, we would drop down from 4,360 to 3,578. So that's quite significant um, to lose almost 20% performance for simply upgrading your operating system. Um, and this was replicated again in the Cinebench multi-score where we saw about a 10% drop in the CPU performance from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So at the moment, it's not looking good for the performance aspects of Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. Keep in mind though, that this is the first version of Windows 11 loaded onto the Surface Book and there will be refinements over the next years and months coming forward. But my question is, is it enough for you to hold back upgrading your computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11 right now? For a lot of people out there, I'm not sure if the performance drop will be that noticeable for the day-to-day -day -day tasks like web browsing, but if you use your computer for anything that's really intense, to notice 10 or even 20% drop in that performance for things like video editing, for gaming, basically anything that's CPU intensive, you may wanna hold off until Microsoft irons out these bugs in Windows 11 that is causing such a CPU drop. Of course, I'm gonna keep it on the Surface Book and see how the performance changes over time. And maybe we'll revisit this test in six months or a year to see how it has changed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.